सोहर वो हकीक का धंधा ही करता था उसमें मर गया वो ही दो साल चार पी में रहे उस बाद इन मर गए उनको कोई दवा का पता मेरी माफा का मेरा दवा का कैसा नहीं चल होता ऐसा उनका भी नहीं होते ला परिस्थिति खराब थी तो बची दवा कहाँ से कराने की सब परिस्थिति खराब है कि सब बारे के मकान में रहने का ये तो हमने देखा नहीं ये सब पैसों से काम चलाने का है गा और पैसा कोई कमाने वाला है नहीं कहाँ से लाने का कहाँ से चलाने का चार लड़कियाँ एक लड़का है गा Silicosis left Tahira a widow, and as I listened to her, I felt it could very likely leave her children orphans. When her husband died, she took up the job. She had seen him getting sicker by the day until he finally died, but she had no choice. She had to make ends meet. Now she had the disease as well. पता ही था ना अपन क्या करे तो अपना सोहर मर गया आप लोग को पता नहीं हैगा तो बीमारी से मर गया अपन दूसरा काम मेरे को कुछ आता नहीं था तो मैंने वही काम करा अभी मेरे को बीमारी अभी मेरे से उठाता नहीं है चार पी में से कुछ घर का काम पानी कुछ होता नहीं हैगा इधर उधर से खाना टाइम पे आवे वो खा लेने फिर सो जाने काम ये घर का काम सारा बच्ची करती है डर तो लगता ही नहीं अपन क्या करने का डर तो अभी भी लगता है गा कि मेरे छोटे छोटे बच्चे अब मेरे को कुछ हो जाएगा तो इनका कौन होएगा These are children of adversity and misfortune who saw their father die from his lethal occupation Now they see their mother walk the same road. I saw them living amid the dust and stones, a constant reminder of the killer all around them. Muskan, whose name means smile, would hardly ever smile. Shirin, the daughter, had been robbed of her childhood. With her mother incapacitated, the burden of running the household had fallen on her slender shoulders. They had no money because the mother couldn't work. They ate what little the neighbors gave them. And in a house where sheer existence was a daily struggle, the electricity bills still had to be paid. 64 rupees only. 64. Kitne mahine ka? 2 mahine. Where would the money come from? I wonder. Not the government, that's for sure. Agate grinding is a cottage industry. The phrase sounds attractive, cottage industry, conjuring up visions of small, self-sufficient and self-employed family units. The reality, no labor laws, no doors to knock on for justice, virtually no governmental supervision of work conditions. An overwhelming majority of Shakarpur's units aren't even licensed. the final nail on the coffin no compensation when a few relatives pool together their meager resources to run a small unit who's to ask whom for compensation in most cases uh, either the workers are very nearby relatives of the employer and in uh, again uh, these workers have to take advances so they are constantly at the mercy of the employer and therefore they they do not dare to claim compensation silicosis 100% incurable 100% preventable it's not a new disease it's been around for centuries and yet there's no reliable record of numbers affected numbers killed research has been conducted a lot of it but the picture that emerges is far from clear One of the reasons is that many cases that are really of silicosis get recorded as just tuberculosis. This makes the morbidity figures inaccurate right at the outset. One can think of few instances where the estimates could vary so widely. Well, uh, there are few of the studies carried out by the ITRC and IOH 
and then there was a petition in Gujarat High Court and uh, because of this petition Gujarat High Court appointed a commission so this commission also uh, uh, prepared a report and submitted to the High Court all these reports have some data but in all these data varies largely some data says there are 50,000 people some data says 30,000 some data says it is 10,000 and if you go and talk to some government uh, person now they would say oh only 1000 so data reliable data is not available was this why the industry minister wouldn't meet me perhaps the state health and family welfare minister did but he didn't seem to think there was much of a problem at all har ek saal mein kareeb 30 40 aise patient malum hote hai wo baat ko leke वर्कर लोगों को प्रशिक्षित करने के लिए अनेक उपाय किए गए हैं और मेजोरिटी एक काम लेबर डिपार्टमेंट का रहता है मगर स्वास्थ्य के तौर पे उसको कैसे सेफ्टी मेजर्स लेना चाहिए वो बात कहते हैं राज्य सरकार ने 1998 से उस एरिया के सभी प्रश्नों के लिए एक कमेटी बनाई थी कमेटी ने जो सुझाव दिया है उस पर हेल्थ सेक्रेटरी के अध्यक्षता में एक कमेटी बनाई है और उनके सुझाव के मुताबिक वहाँ के डॉक्टर्स को इस प्रकार के रोग के लिए कैसे समझाना चाहिए क्या करना चाहिए वहाँ के पैरामेडिकल और मेडिकल स्टाफ को सभी को हम पूर्वोदया तालीम देते हैं नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ वो भी साथ में रह के हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट के साथ में रह के खम्बात एरिया में और राज्य के तौर पर कई ऐसे प्रोग्राम भी करते हैं और लोगों को पूर्व तालीम देते हैं इवन इफ यू एक्सेप्ट दीज स्ट्रेंजली लो फिगर्स द फैक्ट इज दैट द एफर्ट्स आर टोटली मिसडायरेक्टेड मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज फॉर एन इनक्योरेबल डिजीज ट्रेनिंग फॉर व्हाट टू एंड्योर द प्रॉब्लम इट्स द वर्क फैसिलिटीज दैट नीड चेंजिंग आई वाज टोल्ड अबाउट सम एफर्ट्स अंडरटेकन टू कॉम्बैट दिस they didn't seem to have made much difference the nioh had developed a modified machine that cuts the dust pollution it sounded good to me at first but there was a catch the dust can be reduced by engineering control devices like dust control devices and uh, we have designed for their grinding machines the dust control devices having hood blower and a bag filter so what happens that dust which is collected by the blower goes to the bag filter and it is collected in the bag filter at the bottom in the water so it does not go to the vicinity and so worker is also safe and the vicinity people are also safe wonderful and now for the catch the reduction in the dust levels is about 90 to 93% in the work environment so when we conducted the survey that we added the, before the control measures we measured the dust levels and after the dust control measures also we measured the dust levels and the reduction was found to be 93% now we had lot of concern that even after the 93% reduction the dust levels are higher than the threshold limit value which is a safe permissible level of exposure the reason is that we cannot go for advanced technology that they are all the time bothered about power consumption but that's logical to me it was the nioh that needed to be doing the thinking the workers can't even pay for their medication to expect them to buy a machine that's more expensive and consumes more power as well would be unrealistic to say the least